हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एम वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ मशीन डिजाइन आई एम चिंदम पटेल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द टॉपिक ऑफ द कंबाइंड स्टेडी एंड वेरिएबल स्ट्रेसिस हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स एज वेल एज हाउ वी कैन डिजाइन दिस टाइप ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट विच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू दिस कंडीशन विल बी एक्सप्लेन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर सो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द डिफरेंट मैथड्स गुडमैन गर्बर सोडाबर्ग एंड वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू लुक एट वन एग्जाम्पल विच विल अकोमोडेट दिस टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व द एग्जाम्पल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ अवर सेशन एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट द कंबाइन स्टडी एंड and variable stresses so whenever the variable and steady stresses are applied on the body there is uh, there are different com uh, combinations and different methods to solve this type of uh, conditions uh, which is represented on your screen over here as you can see i will use some annotation over here so that you can understand what is the uh, written in this particular diagram on the y axis or the vertical axis you can easily identify the variable stresses variable stresses is represented by sigma v and uh, the, on the horizontal axis you will find it as a mean stresses so generally uh, we can consider the uh, positive values as a tensile and a negative values as a compressive okay so these are the basic sign convention that you need to consider now basically most of the failure points are represented by this dot dots which is represented on your screen like here and in order to design a component uh, uh, which is having this type of a failure is uh, uh, th there are three different methods as you can see there is a parabola Uh, parabola uh, suggested by the gerber and that is why we consider it as a gerber's parabola there is another that is the goodman's line which is a straight line function and another is the soderberg line which is also a straight line but as you can see they they differ from the end points the uh, goodman is between the se and s uh, sigma u and uh, the soderberg is between the sigma e and sigma y now what is sigma y sigma y is yield point stress sigma u is ultimate point stress sigma e is your endurance stress okay so endurance limit uh, stress so these are the different terminology that you need to consider while uh, this uh, understanding this type of uh, methods which is already written on the screen on your uh, as you can read from the screen uh, second thing is mean stress mean stress is generally taken as a horizontal axis and variable stress is generally taken on the vertical axis now we are going to look the gerber's method for the combination of the stresses again the same diagram is on your screen where you can ide easily identify the gerber's parabola now the parabola curve bit, uh, drawn between the endurance limit sigma e and uh, ultimate tensile strength sigma u was proposed by the gerber Uh, and generally the test data for the ductile material falls closer to the uh, gerber parabola and because of the scatter of the test point generally a straight line relationship is used to for the uh, designing of the machine part so basically we do not generally use the gerber's parabola because as you can see the line is not clear the uh, the points or the failure points uh, uh, which is represented in your screen on your in your diagram are scattered to each other and that is why it is difficult to identify whether this particular failure point is falling be below your diagram area or out of the uh, diagram area and that is why it is very skeptical method uh, in order to ensure the safety of the designing component and that is why uh, generally a straight line relationships which are good men's and the uh, soderberg lines are used for the designing of the components part but if we are talking about the gerber's method then you must consider the equation of the gerber's method so according to gerber variable stress can be calculated using this equation uh, you don't have to worry about the derivation of the equation you just have to write this equation if it is asked in your examination okay so basically the sigma v is equals to sigma e 
इंटू वन अपॉन एफ एस माइनस सिग्मा एम अपॉन सिग्मा यू स्क्वायर इंटू एफ एस देर आर नो टर्म्स विच विच इज अनोन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द ईच एंड एवरी टर्म्स विच आर मैंशन इन योर विच आर मैंशन इन योर इक्वेशन नाउ इफ यू जस्ट डू सम क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज सिग्मा वी बाय सिग्मा ई एंड टेक द वन अपॉन एफ एस एज योर सब्जेक्ट देन योर इक्वेशन वुड लुक लाइक दिस दिस इज योर फाइनल इक्वेशन now the factor of safety is represented by fs sigma m is mean stress sigma u is ultimate stress now considering the fatigue stress concentration factor now fatigue stress concentration factor must be multiplied with the uh, uh, relative stress now what is the stress which is related to the uh, fatigue stress concentration that is nothing but the variable stress because we consider the variable stress as the means for the fluctuating loading okay so the variable stress is multiplied with the fatigue uh, stress concentration factor and uh, if you consider if you want to consider the fatigue stress concentration factor then your equation would be like this you can use this equation in your examples directly you don't have to worry about the uh, derivation now we will look the goodman's method for the combination of the stresses this is generally used as a uh, optimum method to design the component but uh, there is some uh, diagram which you need to understand before starting the equation of this method so the goodman math uh, goodman line is represented over here as you can see uh, the between the sigma e and sigma u now this goodman line is represented on the uh, screen with a uh, pink line another pink line is there which is representing the factor of safety so if you want to consider the safety of the material factor of safety of the material then you can divide it by the <coughs> you can divide the given value of the stress by the factor of safety and you will get another line which is known as a safe stress line okay so this is the basic diagram of your uh, uh, goodman's line now we will try to uh, uh, to derive your equ uh, equation which is very simple that is why we are looking over it by using the some uh, basic geometrical concepts so what what are those geometrical concept that is the pq upon co now what is pq pq is this line this vertical line is our pq and co is this vertical line so as you can see uh, we are considering the relation between two triangles similar triangle uh, similarity of the triangle rule and uh, that is this uh, this two uh, triangles so pqd and uh, cod so if you consider the similarity of these two triangle you will be able to use this uh, uh, equation that is pq upon co equals to qd upon od now if you just uh, uh, look at the pq then pq is nothing but the C, uh, od minus oq so uh, sorry qd is nothing but the od minus oq so i am talking about the qd now qd is this much amount of the length that is why if you want to calculate the qd that is nothing but the od minus oq upon od so if you divide it separately then you will get this final equation now uh, consider the pq pq is nothing but the variable stress the, uh, at this moment you can consider the pq as a sigma v and uh, sigma uh, co co is represented as a sigma e upon factor of safety so sigma e upon factor of safety is inserted in this equation instead of the co now we will see few more method to discuss about this particular uh, thing is soderberg method for the combination of the stress now as you can see soderberg method is another a straight line combination but it is the straight line between the sigma e and sigma y now straight line between sigma e and sigma y is represented over here which is much more conservative method which is uh, known as a very much conservative method and that is why uh, we generally do not opt this method to design the component because it will create the component much more costly okay so that is why uh, if you simply apply the similarity rule that we have seen in the previous slide and simplify the equation then you will get this final equation that is 1 upon fs is equals to sigma m upon upon sigma y plus sigma v upon sigma e this is our final equation now what are we going to do next is to see one example based on the conditions that i have already explained to you the guys so one example is uh, already written on your screen like this uh, where you will find a machine component is subjected to a flexural stress flexural stress is nothing but the bending stress 
विच फ्लक्चुएट्स बिटवीन द थ्री हंड्रेड मेगा न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर एंड माइनस वन फिफ्टी मेगा न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर नाउ दिस स्ट्रेसिस आर द लिमिटिंग वैल्यूज वन इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड द सेकंड वन इज द मिनिमम वैल्यू सो मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम वैल्यूज कैन बी कंसिडर रिटर्न एज अ सिग्मा वन एंड सिग्मा टू इंस्टेड ऑफ द सिग्मा मैक्स एंड सिग्मा मिन ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट द मेगा न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर इंटू न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर देन डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ द मिनिमम अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ मिनिमम अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ अकॉर्डिंग टू गर्बर गुडमैन एंड सोडरबर्ग रिलेशन फॉर द नेसेसिटी दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड द टेक यूल्ड स्ट्रेंथ एज अ पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव ऑफ द अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ एंडोर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ एंड फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इक्वर्स टू टू दीज आर द डेटा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू डू इज टू फाइंड आउट सिग्मा एम एंड सिग्मा वी फर्स्ट इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट द सिग्मा एम यू कैन डायरेक्टली अप्लाई द इक्वेशन दैट इज नथिंग बट द मैक्सिम स्ट्रेस प्लस मिनिमम स्ट्रेस बाय टू एंड द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम स्ट्रेस ओवर इयर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द सिग्मा वन एंड सिग्मा टू now as you can see the maximum stress is sigma 1 which is 300 and minimum stress is minus 150 so your answer answer comes out to be 75 and variable stress is 225 mega newton per meter square now according to gerber's relation first uh, first uh, relation that they have provided us to use that is the gerber's relation uh, we know the equation of gerber relation that is nothing but the fs 1 upon fs equals to sigma m upon sigma u square into fs plus sigma v by sigma e now we know a factor of safety is 2 so put 2 over here sigma m we have calculated over here sigma u we need to calculate right now and a factor of safety is given sigma v is calculated from the above Uh, and sigma u is we required to calculate so from this equation the only unknown which is required to be calculated is remaining as a sigma u so if you simplify this equation and uh, convert it in terms of the equation then your final equation would look like this now this is one type of the equation which can be solved using the basic formula that is nothing but the uh, minus b plus or minus under root uh, delta square upon 2a this is the basic method to solve this type of an equation so if using that basic method we are going to uh, solve the sigma u answer and as you can see the answer comes out to be the 924.35 mega newton per meter square now we have taken the positive signs over here uh, why is it a positive sign because we can consider uh, uh, the maximum value of the stress uh, or uh, although it they have mentioned to minimum uh, to find out the minimum ultimate strength but we need to calculate the maximum value beyond up to which your material is safe so we will see few more uh, uh, method that is second method is the according to goodman's relation and uh, we know the goodman's relation is written by the 1 upon fs 1 uh, upon fs equ equals to sigma m upon sigma u sigma v by sigma e fs is provided as a 2 sigma m is 75 sigma u is required to be calculated sigma v is given as this now sigma e sigma e is the endurance strength which is given in your given data as a point 5 of the sigma u so we can convert this sigma e in this manner so that our equation remains with the only one unknown that is sigma u so if you take sigma u as a common and make it as a subject then you will you will find simplify this equation to get the answer of the 1050 mega newton per meter square similarly if you want to find out the sigma u using the soderberg method you can apply this equation and in this equation the only change that you need to con uh, consider over here is the sigma y instead of sigma y from the given data you will have to consider the 0.55 sigma u and uh, your uh, sigma u will be only remaining unknown factor which will be taken out as a uh, uh, su subject and you will get this answer of the 1172.72 so this is how we can complete did our example for calculation of the ultimate strength ultimate uh, stress we conclude our lecture over here thank you